Hey folks, this is Jared with Direct Igniter. I just wanted to do a quick little video here to show you guys how to fix a clogged up auger. Uh, a clogged up auger can happen anytime your pellets get wet. Uh, when they get wet, the pellets break down, they turn into cement in your auger, and you have to actually get them out of there. I've seen a lot of people on the internet coming up with crazy ideas on how to do this, but I'm gonna show you the best way to clear out your auger and to get it working properly again. So for the purpose of this video, I've got our pellet hopper removed just to help you guys see how this works. But at home, you do not need to remove your pellet hopper to do this. You can do it with your barbecue uh, fully constructed. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take any screws out that are holding your pellet hopper cover over all the components. I've already unscrewed this one, so I can just go ahead and remove this now. And if you take a look in here, you can see what our issue is. We've got pellets that have gotten wet and have jammed up the auger system. These pellets go all the way through the auger system. We are gonna take this auger off first, and then we're gonna get some channel locks, and we're gonna hook the channel locks up to here. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the auger motor from the auger shaft. To do that, I've got my Allen wrench here, and I've got some channel locks, and I'm just going to take off this bolt right here that holds the auger motor to the auger shaft. All right, now that we have that removed, the auger motor will come right on out and we can get that out of the way. And remove this white bushing screw so that this can be come out easily. So go ahead and remove the screw and that will release this bushing right here. And now we have just the auger shaft and the channel locks. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the auger shaft with our channel locks. We wanna make sure these channel locks grab it really tight because we need a lot of force to get this cement pellets out of the auger. So once you get your channel locks locked on it, you can start spinning it and start working it and start pulling it out. Now it doesn't just pull straight out because there's too much cement of pellets in there. So you kind of got to work it out and you got to unscrew it out. So you're going the opposite direction that the auger would naturally turn. As you can see, it's slowly working its way out here. Now that I've got it partially out, I can twist it. Once again, I'm going in reverse direction as the auger spins, and it's out. And there's all the debris. What I like to do is take my auger shaft and stick it back in there and use it to get out the rest of the debris. There's quite a bit of debris. A shop vac would also help with this, but stick it back in there, screw it back in, and then pull out the debris. Stick it back in there. Screw it in, and pull out some more debris, and you can see all these pellets just form the wall that the auger could not spin through. Look at all that coming out of there. This will happen anytime your pellets get wet, folks, so anytime you are not using your trainer, it is very important to keep it dry. So, now that it's going in and out very smoothly, I'm having no issues, now we just gotta put it back together. All right, now that we've got the auger shaft freed, it can spin again. We're gonna go ahead and clear out all the debris, get it all out of the way here. Quite a bit in this one. All right, get your debris out of the way, and then we're gonna go ahead and get this white bushing back in. You just need to line up the screw hole and stick your screw back in there and tighten up your screw. That holds that white bushing in place. All right. Now that we've got that done, the next thing would be to get your auger motor and to reattach it. Many times when your auger shaft seizes up like this, you'll you'll burn up your motor or, your, or you'll strip the gears in the motor. So you might have to buy a new auger motor after this happens. And if you need one, www.directigniter.com. We've got them for really cheap. So go ahead and get your auger motor here. You wanna stick it back on your shaft, line up the holes, and go ahead and get your pin back in that one started and then I'll use my grippers here to hold it. So now we've cleared out that auger shaft of all the debris. We've reattached our auger motor and this thing's ready to go back on the barbecue and it should work like new again.